Hello and welcome back, you fine, fine humans. My name is Deventrix, and today we will be looking at uh, not so much the low in particular, but the lovely teams, uh, if you catch what I did there, the lovely teams that um, I've been having recently. I know a lot of people are complaining about teams, but I wanted to make this video to show that, you know, while some teams do suck and some teams don't do anything at all, sometimes you can get some really, really great teamwork within your team and it can really lead to some profound results. And that's what these two clips are going to, you know, hopefully illustrate for us right here. Uh, now, in this battle, actually both the battles, we happen to be playing the low, which is a fantastic tier 8 premium tank, which I will do a review on, simply because it was my first tier 8 premium tank and it is my most played tank in the entire game. Now, right now, I am trying to save up for my IS-7. I have it researched, I just don't have enough credits to purchase it, so that's why I've been grinding at the low. And both these battles have appeared uh, relatively um, close to one another. On this first battle, we had some really good players on our team, so I was expecting our team to do extremely well. Except we had two tanks that basically committed suicide, and I knew at this point it was going to be a hard, hard carry. Uh, but I'm not going to spoil anything right now, uh, just because, or just if we lose, it doesn't take away from the fact that we still have a great team. Uh, so far, the RU basically committed suicide, and sadly, that shot on the RU does not go in. Uh, but we know where the entire enemy tank is, and we got a couple really great shots off. We didn't, but our team did. Um, but we are still down a tank. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push up here, and the teamwork doesn't really come in until the end of the gameplay, and you'll see it when it happens, and it is just absolutely glorious. Uh, but I see that there is an IS-3 Defender. I try to take a shot at him, but the boxes stop it, and I have no idea where the shell goes after that point, and it is really disappointing. Uh, we've missed both our shots so far, and we are still a tank down. Now, we will use the fantastic gun of the load to hopefully get some nice sniping shots, and then this Tiger is also going to help us uh, put out some damage right here. Uh, that lag almost made it seem like we didn't get the shot, but we did get the shot off. Uh, I've been playing with a lot of lag recently, and here we can use the lovely low gun to take out the RU right there, and me and this Tiger are just going to be side scraping off this building to hopefully do some great damage, and we took out two tanks, two tanks in rapid succession. Uh, but there is a DD clan right there, and those guys are scary, and they're both in French heavy tanks. Uh, they're in a nice platoon, and I am terrified of them right now. But I see this AMX is popping out, and I get a lovely shot onto the side of that AMX right there, too. Uh, but sadly, they take out our IS-3 Defender, leaving the score 4-4. Four to four. Now, I'm going to take another shot at this IS-3 Defender right here. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Nope, he doesn't seem like he's coming out. Uh, but me and this Tiger, we both have still a full hit points, and the IS-3 Defender does pop out. We take a... No, we don't take a shot. And then this Tiger 2 crosses in front of us as the IS-3 Defender pops out. So sadly, we are not able to shoot. And I am not very happy with this Tiger 2 right here. Um, I have a higher damage gun since he is using the stock gun right now. But it is fine. Uh, we pull, push down here, and I really want to try to take out this IS-3 Defender, try to flank him. But the IS-3 Defender is pushing forward. We shoot a shot into the tracks, and now we start angling our armor toward this Defender. Because this Defender can take us out very, very quickly with his auto loader. He does take one shot into us, and then this Tiger 2 comes to our rescue. He puts a shot into the side of the IS-3 Defender, securing that this last shot will be a finishing blow. Now, me and this Tiger 2 are going to do some excellent work. Even though he didn't seem too promising, promising in the beginning, blocking my shot, we are going to do fantastic. They only have two enemy tanks left, the ISA and that one-shot DD that we saw earlier. And right now, we have the extreme hit point advantage and the numerical advantage. Uh, but things are about to change. The AMX 100 takes out the IS-6 right there, and I tell the Tiger 2, that we are going to go attack the the AMX right here, and he agrees as well. So we, I've already done synergy. We've already synergized with each other. We are trying to take out the number of enemy tanks. We are working together. We do take a shot from the ISA, and now I'm pushing forward because I do not want to take another shot because this tank cannot take much more of it. So I say help, and this Tiger 2, instead of finding cover for himself, he stands out, which is great news. It He diverts the attention from the IS-8. And now since the Tiger 2 has way more hit points than him or than me, I tell him to go and he agrees and he's just going to charge right now and he's going to be an excellent meat shield. 
uh, and it's just fantastic news for us. Now I'm pushing up too because I want to get some shots on this IS-8. And now this Tiger 2, instead of stopping trying to get a shot right now, he's continuing on doing what he's supposed to do. He's trying to flank the IS-8. We're going to pincer him. And this is just beautiful, beautiful teamwork right here. I get a shot causing the IS-8 to go on fire too. And I set a fire to that tank. The Tiger 1 shoots, or the Tiger 2 shoots as well. And we were able to take out the IS-8 right there, securing 5 kills and leaving me with just a great, great feeling. This Tiger 2 and I, we did work at the end of the game. That is what we need to see more of. We need that. We need that synergy. And we need to be both people. We need to be the people to do the damage and to, you know, be the ones to flank. We did lovely 2,400 damage. Um, sorry you didn't get to see the screen results there. We did make out top on experience, though, which is great. And then in this battle as well, uh, this battle doesn't focus, or this battle is more so focused on the entire team and one player in particular rather than just that Tiger 2 from last time. Now in this battle, uh, I'm going to play a little bit reckless, a little bit careless, and it is going to hurt us and our team. Thankfully though, we have someone to pick up my slack, which is fantastic. Uh, now since this is supremacy, we are going to cap because capturing is so, so, so important. Now I'm going to start off good angling right here. And I'm just looking to see what my team will do. And I see that they started capping the D cap and the B cap. So I'm hoping that we have some people pressuring the A cap. But alas, that is not meant to be. Uh, now I'm going to try to flank out here, try to get a Tiger 2 shot. But I see that I get spotted. I pull back and I see that there's a low sitting up there in the corner. What are you doing there? I shoot him, but I take a return shot. I see that there's a J Panther there too. And I take a shot for the J Panther. No! I try to get a return shot into the J Panther. But alas, it is not meant to be. And I look up and we are three caps to one. This is awful for us. Even though we... We're not losing on tanks. We are losing on points right now. We are losing bad because they have more caps. Uh, and I'm really, really afraid. Now, I know that since they have people A, the D cap is not, uh, they don't have all the tanks at the D cap area. So I'm going to push up here and I want to be aggressive. I want to take out these tanks as fast as possible. Now, this, uh, I bounce off the top of the Tiger 2 and the Tiger 2 punishes us. Then the IS 3 punishes us as well. Which is awful, awful, awful. Now, we do get a shot into the IS or into the Tiger 2 right there. And I am regretting my decisions. I lost pretty much all my hit points to those two tier 8 heavy tanks, which is bad. I try to shoot the Tiger 2, but bounces. And now I'm hiding behind this KV-4 so the Tiger 2 can't kill me, which probably isn't the best idea. But uh, but it, it was bad. I'm not a good teammate in this one. But things luckily will turn around for us. We are down on a tank right now. And we are down on capture points. And we are down on caps right now since they started capping C. Now, I'm going to try to blockade that C area once I figure it's safe because I do not have the hit points to start dealing with that. Sadly, I can't kill that Type 62, but I can help this uh, this SU right here cap this decap area and push around. I have to make sure I don't get shot by the low. We are fine. Now, I'm going to push around here and finish off this IS-3 before the IS-3 can finish off the RU. Now, back up in the cover. And even though we are ahead on points, I mean on tanks, Never mind, now we're not. We are so severely lost on both capture points and on uh, capture areas, points and capture points, which is so, so, so not good for our tank or for our team in general. And our team is looking a little bit worse for it. Now see, there's an SP1C and the buzzer went off. They have 800 capture points, which is awful for us. And I figure we are just going to lose this. The most I can do now is just trying to capture or try to capture as many enemy points as I can by killing them and just boosting up my score. Uh, so I'm going to charge this SP1C, even though this SP1C right here could potentially kill us in one shot. We put two lovely HE shells into him, and now we angle his armor, angle our armor to him, and we get a bounce, which is fantastic news. Now, they started capping the D cap, but we have a person capping C, which is great, great news, and that person is the type, or is the RU right there, the light tank, and that is the job of the light tank, is to go and capture the bases. There's nothing I can do, I'm too slow. And thankfully, this low stopped capping and he tried it to attack us. But we are simply just too slow to do anything. So I'm just going to try to do as much damage as possible. Hopefully, hopefully. Ah, oh, we missed another shot. But if we can bring down the capture points by 30 or 40 points by taking out this low, it will put us to have a better chance in this game. Thankfully, this RU is going around capping each and every base, which is what he needs to do. And the most I can do right now is just try to help him in any way or pos any way I can. I mean, this T29 are going to try to take out this low as fast as possible, which is what we're doing. We're shooting this low, and we get a lovely engine fire right there. There's two fires for you right there. 
And there's only one tank left, and they only have one capture point or capture base left, which is so, so, so good. And this RU, instead of going down and chasing his Type 62, he goes and he caps the A-cap, securing the win for us no matter what. This RU guy, he is a fan fantastic player same with the tiger too this is some great great teamwork and it's because of these people we are able to pull this down which is such such great news for us uh even if we don't kill him we will win on capture points which is great now i'm pushing up here trying to get that last kill i see that the type 62 is popped up there so i'm pulling back around i shoot and i miss but the ru gets the kill very 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 fitting end Anyways, I want to thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I hope that you all have a great day, and I bless you. And I pray and I hope that you guys get better teams, because teams like this, they really make the game worthwhile. And I just want to say thank you all so much. Have a good day.